Welcome back to Decked Out. On today's episode, we are joined by Amy the Amazonian and Big Jim. Each player has brought a personal homebrew to the table that puts a unique spin on Commander gameplay. And as a special treat, we've brought in a guest editor to supercharge today's episode. As always, thank you to our sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., EDH Rec, and Dragon Shield, but more on them at the end of the video. That's enough from us. Let's go ahead and meet the players. Hi, I'm Amy the Amazonian, and I'm playing... Xanathar Guild Kingpin. Xanathar Guild Kingpin is all about playing your cards, not mine, using things like Hostage Shaker to play cards that I steal from the battlefield, or Thief of Sanity to exile them straight from your deck. And if they end up in the graveyard, don't worry, they're coming back with cards like Command the Dread Horde. I'm here because it's prime time for crime time. My name's Jim. I also go by Big Jim ID Online. You'll find me streaming on Twitch, Destiny, Warframe, Valheim, Magic the Gathering, and today I'm actually going to be playing Kenrith, the return... Here we go! Kenrith, the return king. Uh, the whole point of the deck is to venture through the dungeon and generate a lot of card advantage by using a lot of enter the battlefield triggers and uh, hopefully cast something really big for free. Hello everybody, I'm MTG Nerd Girl, and today I brought Saskia the Unyielding. This deck is very unique because I'm going to be able to kill players without even attacking them. I'm going to dominate the board with powerful creatures with a ton of keywords and take advantage of extra combat steps. I'm Veggie Wagon, and I'm going to be playing Usri Fortune's Flame. Cards that flip coins can be really bad and sometimes really good. I'm going to be uh, leveraging... Clark's thumb to adjust the odds on my coin flips so that hopefully I can take out the entire table in one big turn. Before we get into the gameplay, we'd like to take a minute to thank our patrons. Without your support, this content wouldn't be possible. And if you'd like to be a part of the show, head on over to our Patreon where you can get signed tokens from the cast and crew, join us for some spell table games, and even submit deck lists for us to play here on the channel. And of course, you can always support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. But I think it's time to head to the game. Welcome to the table. Let's see who goes first. I'm gonna spin down the spin down. Ooh, uh, 14. I'm off the table. You're on the other map. Hey! No, not that one. one. <laughs> <laughs> 19. <laughs> 19. Why did, that, why did that work? <laughs> I don't need the luck in the, in the rolls today. I just need them in the flips. Is it flip, 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 Adelphia? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean, what? I'm with you. What is I, that? Okay. Mm. Somebody doesn't watch It's Always Sunny right. in I'm Philadelphia. No I'm culture. I've seen like a handful of episodes, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Didn't get the reference. Sorry. Mm, Over darn, the head. Darn, darn. Mm. All right. Draw. Oh, that's lucky. I mean, never mind. <laughs> um, we'll go Zero Tours Proving Ground. Pass turn. All right. Oh my God, a land I on know. turn one? I'm lucky. <laughs> Okay, who's got the soul ring at this table? Who has it? Somebody Open has hand. to. Mm, not me. It is not me. I will play a Temple of Epiphany, I will scry, and I will leave it on top and pass. All right, uh, let's start with a Windbrisk Ooh. Heights. When it enters the battlefield, uh, it enters tapped, and I can look at the top four cards, exile one, and then later I may pay one and tap it to play that card, uh, and then it, the rest go onto the bottom in random order. So let's look at these four cards and see which one I want to keep. Yeah, we got to be careful because what? As, as soon as you're attacking with three creatures, then then that's free. Let's go ahead and put these at the bottom, and I will be done. My deck doesn't have a ton of ways to draw cards, so I was really hoping to hit something here, but unfortunately, I got all lands. But at least they're not on top of my deck. All right, heart of the cards. Let's see that soul ring. That's not a soul ring. Okay, uh, I'm going to start with a dismal backwater, which gains me one entire life. I'm in the lead here. Let me just go ahead and uh, get that 41. I thought this was casual. It's your oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go watery grave untapped for two. 38. And the lead grows. <laughs> and the I'm in second now. And we'll just do a, a prismatic lens. Your turn. All right. Yeah, let's play an island, and then I'll tap two for an Is It Signet, and pass. Some friendly magic. Let's go with Exotic Orchard, and uh, I will follow suit and play a Golgari Signet. Ooh. Ooh. Get a little okay. ramp going and pass my turn. Everybody's got a Signet except for me. You and your fancy Signets. Well, I think I want to cast something too, so I'm going to play a Swamp 
Tabby Tappy, and get down Cridle of Baldur's Gate. Mm. Uh, this is a 1-3 creature that actually manipulates the top of people's libraries, which is important for my commander. But that only happens if it hits you. It can also make creatures unblockable. Always relevant. Go ahead, Ooh. your move. Okay. Let's see what I got for that. <clears throat> Come on. Okay, all right. How do you how do you do a poker, Jim? <laughs> I, you see, most people think that I'm terrible at poker, but that's the whole strategy. If you're always terrible, then they don't know when you actually have a good hand or a bad hand. They're always like, oh, he's got nothing this hand, and then you're like, boom, four queens or something. Or All right, um, I'll play a Misty Rainforest. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and cast a Collation Relic. Uh, tap to add one mana of any color, or tap to put a charge counter on Correlation Relic, and then at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase, I get to remove all the charge counters from it and add uh, one mana of any color for each charge counter removed. Um, put a charge counter on it, and then I'll uh, take one, fetch a, a Triome. That'll be my turn. Oh, Lord, he's ramping. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. I'm going to play a Sokinzan Crucible of Defiance. It's just going to make mana. Tap two, four, and Arcane Signet. More rampant. Uh, then I'll tap two for a Tavern Scoundrel. This, uh, whenever I win a coin flip, I make two treasures. Two? Oh. Two. That's so much mana for doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have to win the coin flip, okay? Yeah, which is, That's... you know, what, what are the odds on that one? Uh, I'm, I'm not good at math, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's pretty okay. Uh, I can sacrifice another permanent to flip a coin. I have to pay mana like for it. Like a though. treasure. Ooh. Oh. I will pass my turn. All right. I'm going to go ahead and play a Caves of Koilos for my turn. And I'm going to use my Exotic Orchard to make red. Thanks, Veggie. And uh, we're going to play a... Delina Wild Mage. This is a legendary 2-3 that when it attacks, I may roll a dice to copy an attacking creature. 1 to 14, it just makes a copy and uh, that's it. 15 to 20, I get to do it again. So hopefully I can make a bunch of copies. And In fact, that card's actually eroded. Um, if you want to know what the difference is, you can actually stop it from continuing to copy. If oh. you, I don't know, make an infinite number of good die rolls, you can choose to, to not make another copy. Yeah. <laughs> because otherwise you'll be stuck in a hellish loop of I'm so good at rolling dice. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Pass the turn. Fun facts with Amy. Did you know I play too much of this game? Madness. Okay, it's time to go to combat. And everybody has a blocker, but you, Jim. Mm, okay. Oh. You thought that that was going to be relevant. No, I'm actually oh. going to go for Nerd Girl because she's closest. I'm going to swing with Cridle of Baldur's Gate. And because I have an attacker, I'm going to pay two to make it unblockable. Then there's not a thing I can do about it. I'm going to take the damage. And a little bit more is going to happen here because whenever Cridle of Baldur's Gate deals combat damage to a player, that player loses one extra life, mills a card, and I gain one life, and I scry one. The lead grows. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and sneak that to the bottom. What ended up in your graveyard? Path to exile. Ooh. Ooh. Removal. Yes. And I should probably play a land for a turn. And my land is a flippy land. So i got to flip it over because it's not a glass pool mimic. It's a glass pool shore. Mm, sure. Sure it is. I see what you did there. All right. Uh, we're going to untap. I'm going to... Uh, we're going to remove the counter for... Planes. All right. I'm going to use the planes and lens and two forests to play an Eliwick Tumblestrum. <gasps> it's me. And uh, for plus one, Eliwick allows me to venture into a dungeon. Uh, minus two, I can look at the top six cards in my library. I can put a or reveal a creature from among them and put it on into my hand. If it's legendary, I gain three life, put all the, uh, the rest on the bottom in a random order. And then her plus seven is I get an emblem with creatures I control have trample and haste and plus two plus two for each differently named dungeon I've completed. I'm just going to go ahead and plus one and I'm going to venture into 
Uh, we're going to start in The Lost Mine of Fandelver. Ah, the easiest one to complete. Good yeah. for getting buffs from Miss Eliwick. Oh, yeah. yes. All right, so this one, uh, it's going to start in the cave entrance, and I'm going to scry one. Oh, yeah. We'll leave that right on top. Mill him next. <laughs> and... Ooh. Do it, do it. But there's a planeswalker to attack. I want to hit the planeswalker. <laughs> Gun- what? What do you mean? She's not hurting. She's just playing her... Thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll help with the Planeswalker, but I want to mill the card he was very excited about. Yeah, well, she's the <laughs> best bard in the Forgotten Realms, and you know, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take her down a peg. Very inspirational. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and tap for uh, blue and a colorless, and I'm gonna play a Dungeon Delver. It's a legendary enchantment background. Gives commander creatures I own have room abilities of dungeons. I own trigger a an additional time. Perfect for venturing into the dungeon. Mm-hmm. Pass turn. All right. Oh well, that's exactly what I needed. I'm going to pay two for a lightning greaves. <gasps> Boots. Uh, mm-hmm. Gives uh, the creature haste and shroud and equips for zero, which is nice because then I can pay three to cast my commander. Usury Fortune's Flame. It's a two, three flyer, and whenever it attacks, I choose a number between one and five. I flip that many coins. For every flip I win, I draw a card. And for every flip I lose, I take two damage. But if I pick five and I win all five flips, I can cast spells from my hand for free this turn. Ooh. What? <laughs> And I'm never going to pick any less than five. <laughs> yes! That is the way to do it. Right? I want to see you lose 10 life every turn. Yes. yes. Also, I want to see that thing kill Eliwick, please. Mm. Hey, please? and see, Come on. I don't have to hit a player. All I have to do is attack, so that sounds great. Uh, I'm going to equip Lightning Greaves to Yusri. Uh, I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to send three damage at Eliwick. But first, let's flip some coins. So I do have the the coin, blue with Sunder Split is heads, and red with Akon's big butt is tails. We're gonna call all tails. Whoa. So five flips, and it's gonna be all tails. One. Okay, that's two damage. Oh my gosh, Reggie! Right, two. There we go. That's a card. Three. Yeah, that's another card. Oh no, and each of these heads is going to be two treasures. Mm -hmm. And they don't even come in tapped. They don't. Oh my gosh. Oh, beautiful. All right, and the final flip. Oh my. I'm so good at this game. I'm practicing. I'm so good at this game. He was one away from being able to cast everything in his hand for free. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Wow. I feel like eight treasure. Is going to be enough to cast most of the things. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, okay. So now I'll get eight treasures, and uh, I'll go to damage for three to Eliwick. All right. Eliwick goes down to two. See, it's always better to be lucky. Uh, I'm gonna play my land for the turn, which is a mountain, and I wish I had that path to exile. Mm. I'm gonna sack five treasures and. Pay one for Risky Move. This is an enchantment. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player gains control of Risky Move. And when you gain control of it, you choose a creature you control and an opponent. Flip a coin. If you lose, you give that creature to that opponent. Oh my god. Cool. <laughs> yep. That oh sounds no. good. One card. Right? Oh no, I'm gonna lose my only thing I played. Oh no. You should give it to me. I oh, will probably, saying. yeah. So you have to choose an opponent at random, or you get to select the opponent. You do select. get you get to select everything. You just will have to flip to see if it happens. Okay. And I guess just one more thing. I'll give you a turn to figure out what to do about this. I'll sack my final three treasures to play Tribute Mage. Um, when it enters the battlefield, I can search for an artifact that costs two and put it in my hand. I have a particular one in mind. Oh no. Somebody's missing a digit. But I'm gonna benefit. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Hey, Krark. Krark's thumb. <laughs> you know it. You love it. Now, when it when it's on the board, it's not on yet. It's just going to my hand. But if you would flip a coin, you flip two instead and ignore one. Oh so each one of those flips twice. Twice. 
Wow. And you get to pick whichever one. So oh yeah, a lot more likely to win. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Okay, that will go to my hand and I'll pass the turn. Honestly, this is the best start that this deck has ever had. I am practically unstoppable at this point. So now I get your thing. Is that what it does? You sure do. Yeah. All right. So then I choose automatically. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this now. So I might lose my creature and uh, you just attacked me. So I'll give it to you, I think. Yes. We could have been friends. I wanted to make Delina tokens. <laughs> well, well, then you should have attacked me. Okay, I will. Which one's tails? Tails is red. I'll Heads should, I'm going to pick on the picture. I like a little blue guy. So if it's red, I guess you get it. No. Yay. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay. You're safe for a turn. Okay. Shoof. Um, and then I'm going to draw my card for turn. If if Eliwick is left alive, I might be able to deal with that what's thing? going on over there next turn. All but, right. but I need to be able to venture into to create a treasure. I might be able to help with the boots to get oh. rid of the shroud. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we're plotting now. We're plotting now. Much plotting. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to do a different thing, but I guess this is probably better. So for my turn, let's go ahead and just play a mountain. And then I'm going to go ahead and play my commander. Saskia the Unyielding, a haste vigilant creature that says when it enters the battlefield, I choose a player. And then whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, it also deals that much damage to the chosen player as well. Mm, I'm going to choose Veggie. I, I yeah. don't know why you would do that. Yeah. So so Veggie's taking a bunch of damage anyway. Um, and then let's go ahead and attack. You have the highest life total, my dear. So let's go ahead and send both to you and I'll trigger the Delina and hope to roll a 15. And are you making copies of Saskia or of Delina? Uh, non-legendary yeah. copies, baby! <gasps> that says non-legendary copies? And you can choose a new target for every single copy of Saskia, oh which will continue God. to double your damage. Yeah. I'm not saying that Delina is one of my favorite cards, but, but it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, no. By the oh. way, Vigilance. Yeah, that is vigilance. Look at all this text, mm -hmm. baby. <laughs> right? I need I... to play your cards, but like, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I have a Sasuke deck. I like her. Yeah, so we will attack. We will uh, copy this one, I guess, because that seems pretty cool. Yeah. I totally I for like women who are bigger than me, and also women who flip coins. All right. Roll dice. <laughs> we'll mm -hmm. go with that. Sixteen. Oh, okay. Uh, so the Saskia too. It does come in tapped. Does yep. come into play tapped and attacking. Are you choosing veggie for that one too? <laughs> could I just kill Ven? You could. <laughs> yeah, I'd be able to. It can be attacking me, and then the damage goes to Veggie. Does this stack? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I like how number go up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep rolling. I told you. Keep I, rolling. I set you up. This is keep, rolling. Keep, rolling. keep rolling. What if I go, if I roll again? He might just die. Remember, you can choose mm -hmm. not to, but it will be funny if you do. Yeah, and it will be funny because you can just you choose a new person. Yeah, just one around the each. table. Just yeah, machine gun everybody down. And what if I attack Veggie and declare Veggie? He would just take double or triple, quadruple damage. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so the copy, so these two are attacking um, lovely Amazonian. Hey. The copy is also going to be declaring, we'll do Veggie, two stacks of Veggie, um, but uh, we'll have this one attack. Uh, yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Sure. We'll, we'll we'll attack Jim, and then I'm gonna roll again. So the roll is if uh, if you know if it's 15 or higher, I get another one. Um, and then this copy. So this one was veggie. This one is also veggie. <laughs> uh, this one will be Jim. Yay! Oh god! Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's about hey, to be so a this might be a table quick kill. game. <laughs> <laughs> Two attacking Amazonian. One is declared for. Um, this one was declared for Jim. One, uh, two for Veggie, and the last one will be for. <laughs> I'm debating it's either, it's either triple Veggie or not, because uh, she's taking the damage. Oh right, right. So right. having her take double seems yeah. So so we're gonna name Veggie again. Yeah. So triple Veggie counters here. Um, you should see if you make another. Yeah. Well, I, this die roll happens when the third one comes into yeah. play. Okay. Oh, oh. It was so close. Oh. <laughs> That's still quite a bit of damage happening. Yeah. It is a lot of damage, um, which I didn't actually know that that was exactly happening. Um, so this one is coming to Jim, and then all of these 
Uh, we're coming to you, my dear. I take 12, you take three, and then we'll reflect the damage appropriately. Yes, a cool. two, I think me dead. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go down to 30. And then that's 15 so, that gets reflected once on you, twice on you. Three once times on me. On you, and then a third time on you. Mm -hmm. I have 45 is more than 38. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, oh my. my god, I did not mean to kill you. <laughs> what a play. Oh my god. Uh, I. <laughs> I admittedly did not mean to kill him. I didn't know it was going to be that much damage. <laughs> and then I, I take 15. Yeah, I think you've got one extra 15 coming at you. Thanks for spreading the love out and taking out the scariest player in the room. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Veggie. I no, did not mean is, to kill you. This, this was the right move. I am completely dead. I'm going to have a great time over here <laughs> watching what in the world happens. Oh, my gosh. Veggie was so scary, I wanted to put him within lethal range just to keep him in check, but I didn't mean to kill him. Look, there was no way I could have anticipated 45 damage straight to the face all in one turn. I think I would have had the win on my next turn, but I guess it's for the best. And then my copies will die at the end of turn, and then um, this will also go away. Oh, yes. Aw, I wanted to trade. <laughs> and then yeah, I, I will pass my turn. Okay, we're going to make sure that that doesn't happen again. I didn't mean for it to happen the first yeah, time. You wanna, you wanna, <laughs> you and me, we'll just go ahead and take care of that problem over there. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, just... yeah. I should have killed Ellie with <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know you were gonna die. Get a swamp. By the way, I assume I did the math right on that. Don't trust me. We trusted you. Hey, YouTube comments, yeah. I'm not a judge. I'll never be a judge. <laughs> I just make up the rules as I go along. Okay, reading the cards doesn't explain the cards if you don't read them. All right, I'm going to tap for four, and we're going to play one of my favorite cards, Hostage Taker. When it enters the battlefield, I get to exile target, artifact, or creature, and it remains exiled until Hostage Taker leaves the battlefield, or I cast the card because I'm able to cast the cards that I steal. And I'm going to choose Delina, putting her in exile beneath the hostage taker. They're best buddies. They're going to make out on this sexy, sexy boat. And now Cridal is going to say, hey, Eliwick. Oh, no. And swing in for one. <laughs> oh, Eliwick's down to one. She's and hurting. This didn't hit a player, so it doesn't do anything else. Mm. Cool. It's your move, Jim. All right. Why'd they all keep tacking Yellywick? She's just a bard. I can't believe I killed you. <laughs> what did you expect? Not death on turn, was it turn four? Yeah. Easy. You could have had a turn four table kill too. Just had to roll better. <laughs> yeah. I think if I roll like one more, <laughs> like. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay. Verdant catacombs. Plus one, Eliwick. I'm going to go ahead and bring her to two. Uh, venturing into the dungeon. I'm going to move to the mine tunnels and create a treasure token. I will t take another one from the fetch land. We'll just get a swamp here. Um, so we'll grab the swamp, which is a Dracula swamp. And I will tap all my mana using... Um, so it should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Treasure token. Um, all swamps, and I will cast Shieldred, the Whispering One. Um, this is the Phyrexian version, but Shieldred has Swamp Walk, um, is a 6-6. Six, six. At the beginning of my upkeep, I get to return a creature from my graveyard to the battlefield. At the beginning of every opponent's upkeep, they have to sacrifice a creature. And Hey, wait a minute. Swamp Walk? I have swamps! Oh boy. Indeed. Oh, and now I'm mad. My creature's dying, I'm fine with. You having an unblockable creature. No, 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 I cannot stand for that. I hope I get some good removal on the top of this library. I pass turn. See, that's looking pretty good now. Yep. Oh, so there goes Saskia, huh? Now I'm, I'm sad because I have to sacrifice this. I mean, I told you I could help take care of it. I was just hey, gonna you, steal the boots. <laughs> you, you told me to. You told me to leave your planeswalker alone, and you would hurt Veggie. And now you've turned it against me. Hey, I see. I, see. I was attacking Veggie. It's clockwise in order. I just kept it. You know, kept the boat swinging. Is how it. You know, well, I didn't as even they attack. say. I kept the boat swinging. I didn't even attack. I just cast 
a simple legendary creature. Okay, my turn is going to be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and play a Selesnia Signet. I'm going to return my mountain and play a Selesnia Sanctuary. And I'm also going to play a Swiftfoot Boots. Booties. And that's that's it for me. Pass the turn. Okay, I believe it's at the start of my turn. Um, I have to sacrifice a creature, and we're going to say goodbye to the hostage shaker, which is going to return Delina to you. Oh, I did not expect that. Mm, Thank you. You didn't. You did not, because I have a plan. Uh And I love having a plan. The plan is to play this here beautiful island, and then tap for one, two, three, four, five, in order to cast... Concoct. Surveil three, then return a creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield. Oh no, <gasps> I know where this is going. I wonder oh. what creature I have in my graveyard. And who knows, maybe I'll find a better one. Ah, this is all garbage, it's all going in the trash. Uh, there's a Metamorphose, an Arcane Signet, and a Midnight Clock. Would have been nice a few turns ago. And I'm going to return Hostage Taker to the battlefield. What? When it enters the battlefield, I'm going to choose, oh, I don't know. Delena. No, oh, no, children. Are Give me that sure? shelly belly. Here's, here's the thing. You don't have the mana to cast her, so why wouldn't you do the Delena so next turn you could then... Because I'll shoot. I'm going to kill that. <laughs> well, there you go. Yay! And now they're going to make out on the sexy, sexy boat. I'm and, okay with this. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would be okay with it too. Have you seen the hostage taker? Uh, and then I'm going to go to combat and I'm going to hit... Eliwick for one. Everybody hates bards at this table. Listen, I'd love to have hit you and made you mill, but like, yeah. Okay. All right, okay. I got a hit. I see a planeswalker, I kill a planeswalker. <laughs> All right. Tunnel vision. Let's go. All right. Move. All right, here we go. Heart of the cards. Shall this is, you shall be mine. Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> Just wait for my comeback. <laughs> Next <Planes>. game. <laughs> All right, we got mana again. This I'm is so cool. sorry, Mitch. <laughs> I didn't mean to kill you. I will begin by plus one-ing Eliwick. Bring her back to two. Uh, and I'm going to venture into... The, Are you a fun guy? The Fungal Cavern, mm. which says target creature gets minus four minus O oh until my next turn. That one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I suppose I am just going to... Use mana. We're going to bring Kenrith into play. The returned king. King dad. Mm-hmm. For one red, all creatures gain trample and haste until end of turn. This is usually what I use to negotiate with people. So if you all want trample and haste, you let me know. Um, maybe we'll work something out. Uh, for one in a green, I put plus one, plus one counter on target creature. For two and a white, target player gains five. For three and a blue, target player draws a card. And for four and a black, put target creature from a graveyard onto the battlefield under its owner's control. Mm. Ye- sorry. Your turn. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that was unintentional. I just I looked over at the next play mat. I'm sorry, Benji. <laughs> Don't hate me. <laughs> now, nerd girl, I just want to say. Shoulder is in containment now, but I cannot guarantee it's going to stay there for long. Not saying it's going under my control, but any removal is going to put that back over there. Yep. So seems like maybe uh, take yep. care of King Dad if you can. Uh, no, uh, that oh. seemed like epic foreshadowing for two mana coming into play over here. And uh, that said, if you want to, I don't know, attack me with Delina to make a million clones to throw over that way, I'm open. I'll take oh. three. Yeah, I think I think that might be how I'm just gonna. Kill oh, that. I and this goes away, right? Oh. If he dies? Yes, there will no longer be a card in exile. That's, that's pretty cool. Because there won't be a dude here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Smiley reaction this whole situation. Um, let's go ahead and start with playing my mountain back. Yeah, we're just going to run it back and attempt to uh, to kill the Shildred and uh, King over there. That's looking scary. So we're going to tap this guy for f- four. Uh, and then five, six to replay the commander. The commander is going to to name Sir Jim. I have an Eliwick. Would you like to target Eliwick? <laughs> <laughs> Quip the Swiftfoot boots mm-hmm. just to give it protection, so nothing too scary happens next turn. And I'm gonna go to combat, and I'm gonna swing everything at Amazonian. Excellent. And we're gonna do the same thing. 
So clone number one coming at me too. And naming Jim or <laughs> other way around. Well, Jim's already going to be taking, I guess you could block. I could block. Depending on how many of them come at me, I need to not die. Yeah. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the next one at Jim as well. We're going to clone and we're going to roll to see if I get to do it again, 15 or higher. Nat one. Nat one. So right now that's that's 18 damage that would reflect over to you. What? Nine Nine if if, if, if she me. takes it, yeah. <laughs> Assuming I don't block any of these. <laughs> Ooh. No. Okay. And before anybody in the comments is like, you can't use a spin down in order to get a perfectly uh, sensible die that's able to get the perfect percentage of 5% and be able to hit on each of the sides. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one's going to have to come in attacking Amy. Oh, and naming me, too? I, I, I don't want to name myself, and he's going to already die. <laughs> no, that's well, not a guarantee. I mean, yeah, you're right. It, I, think, I think, all, all that Well, way. I think... No, this, all, really, all, wait a minute. All I, I, I think way. she can only block one, which makes him still dead. So uh, then now we roll again to see if I do it again. Only 11, oh. so... Okay, we move into blocks, and I'm going to use the hostage taker in front of Delina, so they will trade... And I'm still going to take nine directly, right? Yes, nine damage on the top, and then, and then an extra nine. So I think you're dead. So you take nine twice. I take nine twice. <laughs> Am I taking nine from, oh, those three? So three creatures are hitting, and two, and I have two triggers of your name. I think it's time to take some damage. Yep. Okay, before damage, since I'm going out then, I'm going to use Kenrith's second ability, one in a green. I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter on that fellow. Oh, oh nice. The hostage taker lives. <laughs> she lives. But the shoulder's yeah. still going to go away when you die. And I'm going to be losing 18, which put me at 12. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Whoa, oh, this is no. vigilant anyway. <laughs> and all my copies will go away. And Delina, Delina will die. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> <sighs> well, that was short-lived. Hindsight, maybe shouldn't have cast shielded. Um, however, yeah, yeah, I had to, right? And that that's that's my turn. Only two remain. What would card games be without our commanders? So I'm going to pay one, two, three, four, five, six for my dear friend, a Xanathar Guild Kingpin. Ooh. Xanathar says, at the beginning of your upkeep, you choose target opponent. Oh, there's only one left, so I know who I'd be picking. Until end of turn, that player can't cast spells, and I may look at the top card of their library and play or cast those spells for mana of any Ooh. color. So the top of your library will become my hand at my next upkeep, which means you've got some time to deal with Xanathar, but you only have so long, and thankfully Saskia does not have my name. On it. it has the name of a non-existent player because Jim's already gone. Yeah. <laughs> and I suppose I'll pass the turn. Okay. I am, you know, not not liking my one-on-one -on -one odds here. I feel like all my explosive stuff is kind of done. So I'm a big eyeball and I want to play your cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Uh oh. <laughs> uh... If you have removal legally, you have to tell me right now. I, I, I do not have removal. Or it's entrapment. <laughs> it's entrapment. <laughs> I do not have removal. So um, as I had mentioned, we normally like plan what the themes are. So like I have a little bit more control over like what I'm playing typically. This time I didn't. Veggie made it. So like it's kind of like Christmas. I'm opening these presents under the tree without actually knowing what's in them. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> that's oh. fun. So this is all Veggie's fault. Let's blame Veggie and leave it there. It's like I'm winning, but worse. <laughs> <laughs> You're winning in spirit. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tap four mana. This does make a white for Odric Lunark Marshall. Uh, this allows all of my creatures to get all of the abilities uh, that my other creatures have, including Vigilance, First Strike, Death Touch, uh, Flying, Haste, Double Strike. So currently I have a Vigilance and a Haste creature, so Odric would get that. And we are also going to play Queen Marchesa. Marchesa. This is a death touch and haste creature uh, that when it enters the battlefield, I become the monarch. 
And then at the beginning of my upkeep, if an opponent is the monarch, then I get a 1-1 one, one assassin uh, death touch with haste. And she dons the Burger King crown as she ascends the throne. <laughs> Queen and nerd girl, now the ruler of the realm. Will she give us a wave? <laughs> 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 uh, so you have Death Touch, Haste, Hexproof, and Vigilance on all of your creatures. Um, okay, so I'm going to move to combat, and we are going to attack with the entire team to my, my lovely opponent over here, Amazonian. Ah, yes. Okay, well, uh, I guess it's time to do some blocking. Uh, I'm going to throw... Cridal in front of Saskia because I do not want that damage reflected, and I'm going to put. I don't think it would reflect. It's still named Jim. Oh uh, yeah, doesn't so... matter. Still chump blocking. Mm -hmm. It's still mm -hmm. damage, and the hostage taker in front of Audric. Xanathar is going to sit off to the side like a little happy beholder. Mm -hmm. This um, is a one three, and this is a three four. Hmm. Just big enough to trade with Audric. Do I want to let it trade? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, for no mana, because I have my commander, cast Flawless Maneuver. It's an instant that says if I control my commander, I can pay it without playing it. I can play it without paying its mana cost. Creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. Ow! And he has Death Touch, so... Oh. So both my creatures die, both your creatures live, and I also take three damage from Ms. Marchesa. Do, do, do. I'll go ahead and play a Bountiful Promenade. I don't have two opponents, so I'll pass, <laughs> and then I'll pass the turn. And then at the end of my turn, I'll draw one card for the Monarch. And at the start of my turn, I choose you, Pikachu. I mean, MTG nerd girl. Yep. <laughs> um, yes, so I will be able Pika, to Pika. look at and play from the top of your deck. Which is really, really fun. Mm -hmm. Also, you can't do anything on my turn. That's, that, that's fine. Whoa, one second. I got to read this bad boy. <laughs> See, veggie building a, a deck is a gift to both of us. Yes, there's, definite gift there. there there's the words <laughs> oh until your next turn on this one. Oh my God, yes, okay. Uh, one, two, three, uh -oh. four. Dehada. Okay. Oh. Oh, <laughs> of wills. Xanathar says, yeah, yeah, it seems pretty cool because I think I am going to plus two Dehada to give a target legendary creature Vigilance, lifelink, and indestructible until my next turn. Ooh, okay. So let's go ahead and get a, a big counter. The Hana also allows me to reveal the top four cards of my library and put any number of legendary cards from among them into my hand. Ooh. And the rest into my graveyard. Aw. And I also make treasures for each card I put into my graveyard. Woohoo! And. Like many planeswalkers, Dehada has an ultimate ability. And that ultimate ability is to gain control of all non-land permanents until end of turn. Oh, it fits so well with Xanathar. <laughs> Untap them, they gain haste. Yeah, big, big fan of seeing as of a, a Dehada here. Also, being able to gain some life because I am at nine. Now let me see what else is in <laughs> here. Ah, dang, I can't I can't quite get that one. I'm going to move to combat and I am going to swing at you with Xanathar. Again, Vigilant, Lifelink, Indestructible. So that's five damage coming at you. Do you block Xanathar? I, I think I'm gonna need to. Well, I want it to be king. Because I want to keep the monarch. Yeah, decisions, decisions. Ooh, this is actually kind of cute. I have a lot of uh, a lot of mana. I can recast this naming you. That'd be great. I'm gonna block with my commander. Okay, I will gain five life. Wish I had a little bit more mana, but oh, as you can gosh. see, all of my mana rocks are in my graveyard where I put them. I didn't get <laughs> oh. them in any of my opening hand. I was just like, ooh, two draw. I'm keeping this. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the end of my turn. But Xanathar is still indestructible, life linking, and vigilant. Oof, okay. Nice. Till the end of your next turn, that's mm -hmm. a lot of mm -hmm. scary, scary things. But we'll see what we can get going here. Play. Ishin, Two Heavens of One. It's a legendary creature that allows my triggered abilities when attacking to happen a, an additional time. I'm also going to, so that's four, five, and six. We're going to play a Loxodon Warhammer. It's plus three, plus O, oh, trample, and lifelink. Equip the hammer to Ishin, who does Ishin have of, haste yep. because of Audric. 
Uh huh. We're going to just attack with the Ishin at the Dahada. Okay, I am going to block with Xanathar to prevent a grand total of one damage. Death Touch Trample sure do like that. Uh huh. <laughs> so that means that five will go through to Dahada. You'll to gain five. Two loyalty. There and this go. will die. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it feels good to gain life. Whew. <sighs> Loxodon Warhammer, one of the best equipments printed and one of the first equipments printed. It still kicks my butt, even today. And then I will draw an additional card for the end of my turn, and then uh, and then I will be done. Great. Once again, I'm going to choose you as the target opponent with Xanathar, so I can do a steal. I am going to, once again, plus two Dehada, making my dear friend Xanathar have a bunch of text. And then I'm going to attack with Xanathar, five at you, MTG nerd girl. I will take it. And I will gain it. And I'm so, so happy that you've given me this opportunity to, to play gain something sweet. life. Because life is a resource. I wanna ride it all night long. Wait, <laughs> no, that's not how that works. I need all these lands sideways for Command the Dreadhorde. Ooh. Hey, do you have creatures in your graveyard? Cause I'm gonna bring them all back. The way Command the Dreadhorde works is I can reanimate creatures and planeswalkers, but I do have to pay you with blood. Mm. So my life total is extremely relevant here. I see there's an Ishin and a Delina. <laughs> Which of these do I care the most about? Also, do I care about the ones that are in here? Yes, I do. One of them's called Hostage Taker. I'm definitely going to take that one. Cridal's only two life slash two mana. So let me go ahead and say, definitely going to be paying four life for you. Uh, thank you for not re-equipping those swift foot booties because I want them for me. <laughs> me to have. Delina wins games. So we're going to take Delina too. You also have the monarch now. Yeah, because I hit you in the face, which means you're gonna get an assassino. Um, and I will let Ishin and Cridal, despite the fact that doubling things makes me happy, remain. Actually, you know what? Give me the Ishin. Yeah. I love Ishin so much. This yeah. card kicks ass. So what we're going to do is we are going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage from Command the Dread Horde. Okay, that's a lot. Life is a resource. Hostage Shaker enters the battlefield and I get to exile target whatever the heck. The monarch token, my crown, my beautiful crown, and where would my crown be without my queen? I'm taking Queen Marchesa. Oh. All right. <laughs> come here, come here, girl. Ooh, she's just gonna hang out under Hostage Shaker on their sexy, sexy boat and they're gonna kiss a bunch. <laughs> yes, every single time. Ah, it's good to be queen. And I'm going to play my land for turn. It's this slamp. And I think I'm going to pass. Remember, this is indestructible. Yes. And also, I draw at end of turn because I'm the queen, baby. I want to make infinity hostage takers. <sighs> yeah, I think that's, that... That's how I feel right I now. I think that is what is going to happen, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and start by just cycling a triome because I'm desperate. We're going to draw... Something. I knew there was a triumph yeah. on top because that's the card I didn't play. <laughs> yeah, we're super dead. Things are things are looking real rough for us here. So we'll go for five mana and we're going to play an ankle shanker. It's haste. <laughs> and it says when it attacks, <laughs> creatures you control get first strike, death touch until end of turn. Oh my god, ankle shanker. <laughs> Yeah, not looking good. We're going to go also play... Wait, I'm sorry, did you just say not looking good when you have an Audric and an Ankle Shanker on? Right, that's like, that is pretty solid. Yeah! Did you see that side of the board? Yeah, listen, one of these is indestructible, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Life Link! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Sacred Foundry comes into play tapped. I will choose not to shock myself. The last thing I'll play is the Ignoble Hierarch. It just makes some mana and it's exalted, and, uh, and that's it. Uh... I'm gonna have to not attack. I don't really know what else I can do here. So I have to hope there's like a board clear or something that you're not gonna steal and pass the turn. <gasps> I wanna steal. Oh, my joy of joys to get to play crime. You know that this deck is one of the decks that I've wanted to build for so long, but thanks to the pandemic and not actually getting to see other people to play magic with them, I couldn't build this deck because really, you need to be able to see a person's deck and touch it with your nice mm. grimy fingies and take all their happy little cards. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what does this button do? I am going to plus two Dehada 
to give a legendary creature that nice little ability. And that legendary creature is going to be Delina. Delina is going to be vigilant, indestructible, and uh-huh. uh, life linky, life stinky. I am going to go to combat and I'm going to attack you with Delina. Now, because Delina has this on attack ability, <laughs> uh, I am going to be doing it twice with Ishin. And I am going to be targeting for both of them hostage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so there is going to be um, a minimum of two, but we're going to be rolling for, for I guess, each of these separately. Um, and these are going to be tapped and attacking. So two hostage takers come into play and they are going to choose to exile Audric. May I have this Audric? I have no choice, unfortunately. Okay, Audric is going to be under here. Delina, why do you do this to me? Ankle shanker, very cool. Just gonna hang out here. And now for each of these, we're gonna see if we get another one. No. Yes. So we're going to have another copy and oh, I can also hit artifacts. No, no, oh. no, you keep that right there. I'm taking the boots. I did not spoots, know you could target spoots, artifacts. Spoots, spoots, spoots. These only stay here until end mm-hmm. of turn, by the way. So there are two of these. And um, that's well, the one you were rolling. Right, because I'm still rolling. <laughs> uh, and we got to keep on rolling. That's oh. a one. So we are going to be still coming at you with. Three, six, nine, twelve damage, three of which is, or sorry, not three, uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine damage, three of which is life linking. I will take it all. Excellent. And then at end of combat, you go I believe three. these go back under your control. Bone apple teeth. Look at that. It's like a friendly little present. Okay. And now I'm going to take a look over here again. Yeah, that's still that crazy looking card, huh? Do I want to go for it? Do I want to go for it? I sure do. I'm going to pay one, two, three, four. Mm, Let's tap that a little bit better. One, two, three, four, perfect. And we're going to play (laughs) Dune Brood Nephilim. It's one of the Nephilim, which are the four color OG creatures. Um, This one, is whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I put a 1-1 colorless sand creature token into play for each land I control. Who cares? It's a 3-3 three, three that's from your deck that makes it better. <laughs> yep. Um, and now we're gonna do... You have more uh, yellow-orange sleeves on your mat than I than, than I do. <laughs> <laughs> than you do your color. I just like playing people's cards that aren't my cards because I, I know me. I know me so well. One, two... Three for the river cleaver. Uh, this is an equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and has trample. And whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, create that many treasure tokens. Uh, it's an old law bones on a stick, ain't it? And um, literal stick. It's cleaver. So I'm, just, I'm gonna play my land for turn now. It's going to be hive of the eye tyrant, which comes into play tapped. Uh, that can be animated into a happy little critter. And because I am still the monarch, I will draw at end of turn. I'm super close to being able to kill Amy, but I'm just a little short. Unfortunately, she's massively outdrawing me, so I'm going to need to close this door really quickly. It's your move, Kaiba. I mean, nerd girl. Nerd girl. All right, let's see. Hopefully, I can find a way to close this out. As I said, I'm not happy about the card that was on top of your deck. Uh, well, I don't actually know if that helps me much. Must have been a heck of a card. All right, so what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, pay four plus the tax to, for my commander again to cast the Sasuke again, naming uh, the lovely Amazonian. Yeah, let's go ahead and just equip the Warhammer over here so you take a little bit more commander damage. You have one indestructible creature. Sure do. She's a 3-2. Stole her from you. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and go to combat. I think we have to attack with the team. Minus the ignoble hierarch. Everything has vigilance. First strike, death touch, haste. It's time to block. So I have to make sure I don't die here because you have a lot of damage coming in. Uh, I'm going to put the indestructible Delina in front of Audric, who shares the keywords, um, since that should hopefully at least make them trade by the end of combat. Uh, I think I will throw the Ishin 
and hmm, I have to make sure I'm not taking too much damage here. So right now they have two going through there. Uh, let's make it so we have Doombrood Nephilim and Hostage Taker here to prevent two, which would mean that five is going through. No, six is going through. Yes, no, seven's going through. 11 minus four is seven. See, I've got an engineering degree. <laughs> seven times two, not equal 16. Yeah, okay. I think that's how I'm going to lock in the blocks. So let's finish up this combat. The first yep. strike happens and these die. Whoops, this dies. Wait, this is this goes in your graveyard. Whoop. <laughs> Not that much crime. Doesn't it? I need oh, yeah, yeah. Marquesa goes back under your control, and I take all of that damage. So I'm going to take seven. Twice. Seven. It's 14. So that's going to bring me down to two. Now we go to regular damage, though. Yep. And Delina and Audric are going to have a sweet, passionist kiss in the battlefield. <laughs> and Audric will die. Delina will live, thanks, indestructible, and I'll gain three life back. Um, so the first strike damage, and then with regular damage, I'll give indestructible right. Audric will to Audric. Live. Oof. Boo. Samio safekeeping uh, is target permanent gains hexproof and indestructible, and I'm going to gain two life. So those two will just bounce and uh, and and call it a day. I did get the Queen Marchesa back, and I'm going to get the Monarch back as well. <laughs> Doubly. Double crumbled freaking monarchs. <laughs> I'm also going to gain a bunch of life because everything had lifelink and I kind of forgot that everything did. So yeah, we gained 14 from what went through and an additional four, so I gained 18 total, putting me up to, holy smokes, 50. And, uh, and then I'll move to my end step and I'll get to draw an additional card because I am the monarch. And then, uh, yeah, then it'll be your turn. Please stop stealing my stuff. Never in your <laughs> life. <laughs> All I know in this world is crime. And all I'll ever know is crime. You're going to need a big crime right now. Mm -hmm. I believe in Delinea right here. It's going to be infinite Xanathars. And just kill me, and, yeah. yeah. I'm going to try to dig through your deck okay. to find something better. <laughs> so I'm going to pay two for a Danto Vanguard. That is a uh, creature that can become indestructible if I pay life, which I am not going to. <laughs> Fair. Wasn't something better under there? I just realized something. Delina tokens die. And that's relevant. I'm going to pay one, two, three, four, five for Junji, the Midnight Sky. <laughs> oh boy. So Junji is a five, five with flying and menace. Very hard for your creatures to yeah. do the block thing with. Mm -hmm. But also when Junji, the Midnight Sky dies, I can choose to make an opponent or each opponent discard two cards and lose two life or put a non-dragon creature from the graveyard onto the battlefield and I lose two life. If I can get enough Junjis, <laughs> they're going to kill you, explode your hand or reanimate from the graveyard and maybe give me a fighting chance. Bring it. Um, okay, Dehada, we're going to go ahead and do the plus again here to stabilize with the power of life. It doesn't actually make that much of a difference. Um, we're going to put that buff on Xanathar because we do have to swing on the ground no matter what, so you're going to be gaining all that life. And I'm going to attack you with Xanathar, who is vigilant, indestructible, lifelink, and Delina. Now Delina is going to be targeting Junji as the copyable creature. So, um... Here we go. Let's roll. All right. Only oh, one. Only one. Only one. There is one 5-5 five, five with flying and menace coming at your face. Ooh. There is one 5-5 oh. five, five with flying and menace coming at your face. Okay. How do you block? Um, so this one says when ankle shaker attacks. So currently they don't have first strike. No, but they do have lifelink. They do have lifelink and death touch. <laughs> I'm going to just block the um, Delina that is not indestructible with the Sashki. And okay. then I'm going to take the uh, 10, but I'll gain six. Okay. Um, so Delina is going to die. I gain five. You gain six. Uh, but I took 10. So I lose four. 
and then the copy will die. Mm-hmm. Rip and pepperonis fake Junji. Put that over there. And I guess I'm willing to pay this life for hostage taker. And let's see, do you I feel like you have enough mana to replay Saskia, which is insane. Um, you have gotten so many lands. Um, I lose two life, by the way, on this reanimation. Let's just take Audric, because it's fun. Okay. Hey, Audric, you want to come hang out with me? <laughs> Make out on my boat. Make out on my boat. You can't share cures anymore. Mom okay. said you're not allowed to. I have an indestructible creature whose name is Xanathar, and he's really cool. Also, I have, like, the compulsive need to play cards from your deck, and I'm just going to say that flat out because I want to I want to do it. Okay. I want to do it really bad. So I'm going to. It's a land. Uh, it's a Gruel Turf. <laughs> uh, Gruel Turf is going to come into play, and I'm going to put this swamp back into my hand. Show me the secrets. Oh, I lose the game. It's your move. Quick, put the Gruel Turf you get back. To, you get to draw uh, for your end step, I believe. Yeah, I have one blue mana open. Okay. Um, and I think I may also need to discard because my hand is too full. Yes, it is. Uh, I am going to put that swamp into the You're graveyard. Oh. oh, yes. And because Queen Marchesa is actually on the battlefield, uh, you make an assassin, which is I... a 1-1 one, one with death, touch, and haste, right? Yes. So because I don't have the monarch, I do get a cute little death, touch, 1-1 one, one hasty assassin, which I love. She's super cute. Huh. Interesting. And you know what this card is, so. Sure do. Okay, we're just gonna go to combat and I'm going to attack with everything that is not the ignoble hierarch. They will all be death touch and first strike. I'm going to have to put everybody in front of Saskia. And I'm pretty sure I still die. I think so. Cause the three, we assign three damage. You take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then so, that is even doubled. Good games. GG! Woo! Right. Show off what that card was. Just in case oh. I might have had some yeah. way to, I don't know, not die this combat. Uh, I yeah. could have had two more combats. <laughs> <laughs> With only one creature. Well, I lived how I died. Playing other people's cards. That game, huh? Yeah, I, I could have won that game. I count this as a win because both players in this game had a good time playing with a deck that I made. I'll catch you on the flip side. Going into this game, I didn't realize how powerful Sasuke could be. But realistically, I think Delina was the all-star. Without her, none of this happens. But at the end of the day, I'm really excited I got to teach Amy that crime doesn't pay. Thank you guys for joining us for another episode of Decked Out. As a special treat, we've got some behind-the-scenes bloopers. But before we get there, we're going to introduce you to our sponsors. Cool Stuff Inc. is the best place to pick up anything from sealed product to singles. And don't forget to use code DGEN at checkout for 5% off your order. If you need a little deck building inspiration, head over to edhrec.com where they've got all the synergies to match your budget and style. And now that you've got your deck, you're gonna need some accessories. Head on over to Dragon Shield where they've got everything you need to get into the game. We have links in the description below that will support our content. But if you would like to support us more directly and help us create more cool content like today's supercharged episode, head on over to Patreon where you can also unlock a bunch of cool perks. And of course, if you liked the video, hit like, and if you really liked it, click subscribe. For now though, let's head over to something special for everyone that stuck around. People let me tell you about my best friend. She's a warm-hearted person who loved me till the end. People let me tell you about my best friend. She's a one boy tell it's going my own my now. so hard and got so far but in the end it doesn't even